According to findings by 216, a large number of children are on the street hurting to survive and cater for their families while their mates are in school. The phenomenon some educationists believe impact negatively on children, especially their educational development and mental state of mind. In view of this development, parents and other stakeholders have made a case against the practice. Literacy itself plays a very significant role because if parents are educated, they will definitely not wish their children to be uneducated. And because they don't want their children to be uneducated, they will send them to school, so there will be no time for children to hawk. So, in effect, really, these are the major causes of uh, street hawking by uh, children. Rhoda Kaigama is worried over the dangers associated with street hawking, even as she stresses the need for children to be educated, saying education is the bedrock of any society. We should try by all means to send our children to school because they are, our, they are our future leaders. Because by doing such thing, by sending them hugging in the street, it even leads them to destruction of their life. Yet some children, on the other hand, see street hugging as means to cater for their needs and their families. Sometimes, when they go out to bed, they will come with nothing, leaving me to feed them. I'm doing it for a woman who pays me so I can buy my school sandals. To save other children from this bad practice is a task that must be accomplished. Tabita Omanjoda, this is